Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Right then, we're gonna be. We can't do anything more in the Good Egg Galaxy because we know we're all done. Anyway, new galaxy. The Honey Hive Galaxy. It, I like this galaxy really a lot. Really a lot. I really like this galaxy. It's awesome. It gets two thumbs up. B Mario takes flight. What? B Mario? As if you haven't read the back of the case already? Yes. Welcome to the Honey Hive Galaxy. This is personally one of my favorite galaxies. It's awesome. Okay, little known secret, or a lot of known secret, depending on your point of view. One up there. Be careful, there's a tiny little platform. See what I mean? Uh, another thing, if you look out into this, there's a giant M. Oh, I wonder what that's for. Your little bee dude. That's good to know. Okay, dokie then. This place would introduce you a whole bunch of new mechanics. No jokes, no jokes. Including this one, which is swinging on this vine thing. Which is always fun. Doesn't really do anything at, uh, for that point, but it does something later. Behind here, you will find a place where you can wall jump. Kick, okay, flip, joink, 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 boom. Two piranha plants. And one sticking out from a pipe, like old style. Stab it there. Didn't, don't die, Mario, that's not good. Pipe. Okay. This is another one of these creepy rooms. Well, not creepy, but weird rooms. With the Funkadelic background. And the star coin. But this one's kind of... Weird. Ah. Did I say star coin? I meant question coins. Whatever. You've transformed into Rainbow Mario. You're invincible, aka Trip Out Mario. So once you grab a, a rainbow star thing, you start tripping out. And you run around super fast, and you're multiple colored, and you get a funky remix of the star theme. And you, anything you touch dies. And you can do spinning jumps like Santa. Doesn't last long though. Unfortunately, oh well, can't do everything. Into the pipe, Mario. Anyway, enough tripping out. This thing causes one of these things to appear. This is interesting. Okay, this thing is a bug, I guess. Doesn't mean to do anything. Spinning kick. Same story. They run away from you, too, which is nice. Mr. B. Thank you. That's interesting to know. Down here? What do you have to say, Mr. B? Sure, why not? Anyway, we grab this bee-looking mushroom. I'm transforming to bee Mario Holiday to buzz around. Okay, we have ourselves a fly meter, and we look cool. This by far is one of my favorite costumes for Mario. It allows you to fly like the cape, but it's not overstated. Uh, you keep your star spin. Uh, I don't think it's as long range, though. Plus your spin, honey. You don't jump as high, but to make up for that, you can fly. Pretty high up. But obviously, it goes down the more you use it. Let's see what else about Bee Mario. Um, we don't use the tail at all, so don't bother. There's more mechanics of the bee suit later on, but don't touch water or get hit, because that makes you lose it. That's good to know, Mr. Bee. So, jump. Oh, God. Let's get some momentum when we jump. Jump. Interesting about the bee suit. These things no longer run away from you. They Instead, they actively attack you. Still just as easy to take care of. Yeah, I don't think your star spins is powerful. Ouch, and you also lose it really easily. Now I'm gonna go back and grab the bee suit. So yeah, be more careful. And don't touch water. I probably already said that. Yes, in fact, I have already said that. But yeah. Bee suit is infinite until you get hit. As with most Mario... Uh, power-ups. Oh well. Up here, we have some coins, but they're completely useless. They're just to make use of the flight thing. Also, when you get a coin when you're flying, your fly meter gets replenished a bit. Hello, Mr. B. That's our castle with a giant queen bee on top. Okay. Oh, I missed a one-up. I always miss that one-up. Not as if we need it. 
B here, B thing if you need it here. What do you have to say for yourself? Bees never lie. I love that line. Because they feel the need to justify themselves. Okay. Uh, B Mario can do things that regular Mario can't do. He can walk on flowers. When you're walking on flowers, your fly meter glunches faster. Which is cool. B Mario can't walk in honey. He's very fast. So be careful. I've died here like 50 billion times. Not anymore, but I used to. Careful not to touch the honey. As much as you may like it, it slows you down. You can still use the star launchers when in bee mode. Okay. Water. Bee Mario is one nemesis. Other than damage. But I think that's everybody's nemesis. I think you can tap to make it last longer, but I don't know. You can get the same distance, but I don't think you get as much height. Ground pound you can still do. You can still do all your moves, you just don't jump as high. But you can fly, so it's kind of like a good trade-off. What do you have to say for yourself, Mr. B? Oh yeah, those are like... Electro gumbers. No, electro bloopers. I don't know what they are. Spin on the... Um... Flower... Uh, the pink flower thingies to launch yourself up to higher heights, blah blah blah. I, I'm not sure whether or not you can do that as regular Mario. We need to be being married for this part anyway. Because you can walk on flowers. The first level of the um the first level of a galaxy is always the longest. Ooh, what's this thing? Ooh. Uh Okay. Let's go this way. Oof. Okay. Um this is supposed to be the advanced course. Oh god. Yeah, don't worry about... Yeah. You descend a lot slower. Oh, that was a complete cycle? Whatever. You descend a lot slower when you are in B mode as well. Uh, Beam, uh, Beam Mario can also climb on these honey thingies. Like the, the well, yeah, honeycomb kind of things. And you also replenish your flight meter while you're doing so. Piranha plant there must die. Okay, didn't mean to do that, but alright. Queen Bee. Our entire being. So, basically, you gotta climb on the B. Don't think about it too much. I like the graphics, though. Uh, let's see, this one there. There's one here. Newbie, get it? Newbie? Like newbie? Like noob? She just called us a noob. We all get her. Whoosh! Random one up for us. Because we can. Whoa, a whole bunch of toads. Ah, a bee! Oh, hey Mario, it's you. Luigi's in this game as well? Awesome. So yeah. You'll find out more, more about these random toads in a bit. But that's the purple one and the green one. See? Hooray. Yeah, you lose your beast suit when you grab a star, but hey, what can you do? Nothing, that's what. Hooray. Awesome. Awesome. Nice. Whenever something amazing happens, you come back here. Instead of back to the terrace. Or the dome. Mario. It has a nice ring. Yeah, I think we can make the time. Yeah, I'll save. What do you have to say for yourself, little dude with a bag? Okay. No, oh, a little yellow too. Yeah, me too. You're a red toad. Okay. Good, good. Okay, that's cool as well. And blue toad, my favorite.
Yeah, totally ridiculous. What if the one up's still there? Yes, it is. 18 lives already. Yeah, this game kind of overcompensates for you. Hey, okay. Alrighty then, folks, in the next video, we're gonna go back to the Honey Hive Galaxy. I will see you then.